after the busy holiday season, many Americans are looking for ways to save money as part of their New Year's resolutions. Maybe they didn't have those winning numbers. Charlotte Coles joins us now with some tips for non-traditional ways to save money in 2024. I'm very interested in this. You wrote about this in The Cut. And I did this, you know, the week between Christmas and New Year's. I'm just scouring the Internet. I'm like, yeah, I need another pair of yoga pants. Why do we do this? It's actually a really human and common thing to do. Once you're spending money and you're in that sort of shoppy mood as you are <laughs> um, in the holidays and you've been spending a lot of money because you've been buying gifts, but yeah. also you've just been in stores. So you're surrounded by new and interesting things and it's really hard to turn that off. It's sort of the slippery slope. Um, it's just like, you know, you eat one cookie and then you're like, oh, what's another and another and then Get out of the my whole head. box is gone. <laughs> yeah. It's also like you want that dopamine hit out. You're like, Christmas is over, man. All right, so what are some non-traditional ways that we can rein it back a little? So the traditional way, as I'm sure you know, is to really feel like you have to restrict and create these really hard New Year's resolutions where you're like, I'm just not going to shop or I'm going to spend, you know, X number of dollars and that's it. And I can't spend any more. And those very restrictive kind of diety um, rules that people make for themselves actually don't work. Mm -hmm. And if anything, maybe they do work for a few days, but then they backfire. And once you fall off the wagon, you just really can't get back on. Yeah. Um, and so the better ways to save money actually have to do with more positive things that you can do instead of restricting. So instead of telling yourself that you can't spend and you have to stop, think about what you actually maybe want to spend more on or what you can do instead of spending money that will make you feel good. You talk about things like going for a walk, going to bed earlier. Why do those good healthy habits help in the money department? I know it seems counterintuitive that walking would help you <laughs> save money. But I interviewed a lot of health, or excuse me, a lot of money experts who were doing those things themselves. So they, these are people who are really great at, you know, saving money, investing money. And a lot of them for the new year said that they were focusing on doing things like going to bed early, keeping their phone away from the bed. Oh, yeah. And that's because, I don't know about you, but before bed is when I, like, squirrel around on mm -hmm. the Internet or I scroll through Instagram, yeah. which is basically just an online mall at this point, yeah. as we all know. And that tends to be when you make a lot of impulse, impulsive decisions, impulse shopping, um, and you buy a lot of things that you don't need. Maybe you create a grocery order and then suddenly you're like, oh, I have to get to $50 to get the free delivery. And you just don't make the best decisions when you're tired or when you need a break or when you need some fresh air. And so taking care of yourself and your health are actually really, really important ways to save money. Yeah, so you mentioned think about what you want to spend more on. What are some smart ways to spend money? Yeah, so... I know it can seem like revisiting a crime scene, but looking at the ways that you already spend money is one of the best ways to save money or spend it more usefully in the future. So look at your credit card bill or look at your bills, look at the ways that you've spent money in the past. And again, it can seem really painful, but it can also really lead you to look at things that you've spent on that are good. So things that made you feel good, trips that you took. Yeah, like match your values. Dinner. Exactly. And it will turn up some things that made you feel not so good, yeah. like the shirt that you bought that you still haven't worn. Yeah. But um, by examining the ways that you spend money that have worked well for you, then you can feel better about continuing to spend money in those ways and not spending money on the ways, on the things that didn't make you feel so good. Here's to a prosperous new year. Charlotte Coles, thank you so much. Thank you.